The following program is rated E-M-A-L. Contains strong language and is intended for mature audiences. The most dangerous... The most dangerous... Ah uh-huh, shit! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is... The world's most dangerous podcast. See that? You see that dramatic ass Paul shit? Mm-hmm. This is the wake up call, motherfuckers. Round two. Dang, dang, bitch. School's in. Mm. How y'all doing today? I'm alive. That's all I need. Let me introduce my co hosts like I do every damn show. To my left. All right, whatever. My first one. <laughs> we got smooth ass. I put beer butter ass. Man, I was one of the goddamn niggas off a of guy slash new edition slash Keith Sweat ass nigga. Bio ass nigga. Trey. Smooth Trey in the building, y'all. Say what's up, Smooth Trey. It's been three days since you've been gone. No, I'm R&B. Playing. R&B looking ass. I'm that boy. R&B early 2000. R&B looking B2K looking nigga. Mm. B2 Trey. Damn, B, B. Oh, now, you drawing. And then my second co-host. And we talk about early 2000s shit. You got Rod Digger, a.k.a. Mary J. When she do the mm, 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 oh, hard ass Mary right J. Here. You know what I'm I would saying? rather go with Foxy, you know. Oh, Foxy, yes, less. AKA Baby Little Kim, AKA Baby Foxy Brown, the, mm, that, 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 oh, I taste this like candy, you know. Um, Miss J and all of them. <laughs> Philly Cardi B, AKA the one they call Secret. A What's secret. happening, folks? I'm in this thing. What's up? Like, Man, I'm, I'm let here. Them, I'm going to let them grind me the fuck up at that, get my little ad viz out. But this is your man, Brother Kurt, AKA. Young Stephen A, a.k.a. Black Paul Heyman, a.k.a. Young Charlemagne the God and all that good shit. Go ahead, grind me up. You want us to grind you up? It's like, I, don't, I, don't the fuck up I can't even grind because uh, you, you want me to grind yeah, you up. Yeah, like you can't like, do it. Grind well, I mean, we can, on me. It, it, it's not. No. I don't think we can. <laughs> now, now I'm about to grind you up I can't for do that. it after you do that shit. <laughs> Look, 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 look. He called listen. me the R&B nigga, though. Listen, this nigga singing all listen, the old you hits. Get a couple Henny and you be like, hey, girl. Girl, let me show you. Nah, fuck that Henny, bro. Let me show you. You already know you what wildin'. I do. <laughs> he Welcome. ain't even had no Henny, though, guys. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the World's Most Dangerous Podcast once again. We is back. Episode two. I'm going to call this the, the Donald Trump episode. Nah, nah, fuck him. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. The power ending episode. The Tyreek St. Patrick episode. Boom. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is a spoiler alert if you have not seen. Y'all want to get straight to that shit then? We might as well. I don't, I don't watch Power, so I don't know what happened. So this week, but go ahead. one of the greatest shows in television history ended. Power, a.k.a. 50 Cent, um, motherfucking baby genius ass show. <laughs> starring um, some nigga named Ghost, because I don't know his real I name. I don't know none of the actors' names. Omar Hendrix. Amari Hardwick. Hardwick. Amari Hardwick. Naturi, I know she's in that joint. Yeah, her and um and fifty. And the one <laughs> Joseph Sutton, but aka Tommy. Oh, you started drawing. You said no. who who son? Joseph Sutton, aka Tommy, who oh, played the hell out of Tommy. Tommy. Shout out to Tommy. That's probably one of the greatest drug TV show characters ever. Agree. Agree. I love Tommy more than Ghost. But crickets, crickets. Thanks. Whoa, for real. I, I'm, I'm Team Tommy. See, but good things have come to an end, and power is over because Ghost was the whole thing was who shot Ghost, and at the same damn time, all at the ending, his own son killed him. Dang. Ooh. And then. But I was expecting that though. You was expecting that. Yeah. I thought Ramona killed him. No, I felt like it wasn't her wow. because then they already had like a conversation and like she believed that That's why he I didn't. She killed him. That's exactly why. But she believes that it wasn't him though. At first she did and then he like explained why it wasn't him. So y'all wasn't that satisfied Angela. with the ending. 
I wasn't. I thought Ramona killed him. But I like how I mean, it goes to a spinoff. I like the ending. You like I the think ending? that's what Tasha get. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For bad parents. I've got to get to that. Um, and then his mom, Tasha, went to jail for his dad's body. But her, she didn't do it. Remember, I said that. She tried to frame another man. But her dickhead ass didn't know that the man didn't trust it, so he ran to the store. And he had cameras mm-hmm. and an alibi. So. Trying to frame another man. She tried to frame him while she was fucking him, too. That's she that's fucked everybody on that's, there, though. She was mm-hmm. fucking him, like, mm, mm, and the cops busting. And he was like, yo, tell him what's going on. She does in the background. Mm. Titties all out. All that. Tripping. Mm-mm-mm. Titties. So, Stars loves her titties. Like, her titties always out. That's it's it's premium check channels. They go and put she, as many does, titties as they can. She does she have can. a nice body though. She do. I'm she surprised natural. they don't put porn. Oh wait, they do put porn. She got a it's nice body and a nice porn. wig. I'll tell you that right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't know about the wig being nice. Now the wig came off and man, the wig came off. But um <laughs> R.I.P. Ghost. R.I.P. Power. But now we got a spin-off. It's called Power Book. Of book ghost, two, book two, book ghost. two ghost, yeah. And then we get a uh, power raising Something, Canaan. Yeah, they dropping. Then we get a power influence. Then we get a power force. See, that's why. I don't I, that, know if that's I'm why here I feel calling. like, like I feel like, you know, they kind of did what they did, like, like how Game of Thrones did. Like they just rushed the last season, yeah. where they try to find like some way to just Keep wrap everything up in a bow, just so that he could, you know, what I mean, because Fifty, you know, Fifty's on his money too. Right, Fifty got another show coming on ABC. Yeah, so, so he's. I think he just wanted to end that so he could. You know, right. Multiply. I hope Fifty don't mess that ABC show up like he did the BET show. The BET show was trash. I don't even what know what show BET? he used. Oh, to be I know what you're talking Central. about. It was yeah. like a fake ass Fifty Central. Color. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was oh something. It was something like that. But I, I love Fifty. I only watched a few. The name was, was horrible. One of my favorite entrepreneurs ever. Fifty is if fifty is like he's not better than Jay and Puffy, especially not Puffy. Mm, take that, take that, Puffy. But nah, not better than Puffy. Entrepreneur shit was. But I wanted to do this. I ain't do this in a while. It's time to bring shit back. This is time for dumb ass of the week. Can I? Can I? Can I get my little? Ooh. It's time. Let me give it dumb ass of the week. Dumbass of the Week award goes to. Ooh, this is the first one of season motherfucking mm-hmm. two. Dumbass of the Week goes to da, 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 the viewers of power. Why is y'all harassing this little ass boy named Tyree, <laughs> a.k.a. Michael Riley? He's an actor at the end of the damn day. Y'all some death threats like, you kill ghosts, I'm going to shoot your ass, nigga. Like, this is an actor. He doing this goddamn role at like yes. age under 20. He like 18 or 19. Or right, he like, like 18, 19. Let that little boy live. That little boy don't know shit yet. He just got his, probably his first piece of pussy. He don't know what the how the life is. He probably just got his first couple <laughs> of dollars because all that money probably went to his parents. Leave that little boy alone because at the end of the day, he got more money than all y'all. And he a damn good actor because he made y'all hate him. Dumbass of the week goes to that boy. First Mr. Red, all, Kurt, drop a dumbass of the week on him. <laughs> Secret, welcome to dumbass of the week. Kurt just turned to Kiki, like, real quick. Y'all heard the whole attitude in his yeah, voice? Yeah, you, you had some passion in that, bro. You know how dumbass of the you week goes to You don't like when people fuck with the kids, you feel me? <laughs> I don't. He Mr. Red, fans. drop a bomb on them one time. Dumbass! <laughs> the dumbass. Leisure suits are for dumbasses. Believe me. <laughs> Jedi dumbass. <laughs> The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. <laughs> There's the dumbass. Thanks, Mr. Red. Yeah, you're going to meet Mr. Red one day. He's funny. Can't he's, wait. He's like, he's like the what, wake up call mascot. I'm elated. Yeah. Oh, big words. What was that word we were talking about earlier? I don't know. The ball head, John. Alopecia. <laughs> ABC alopecia. <laughs> I just want to say to all of our listeners out there, to anyone who may have alopecia, we do not mean to offend you. We do not condone or offend love anybody you. that got want ABC alopecia. That was just I just didn't know what that meant to today. That was a dope word. Sound like a dope ass um, um <laughs> Italian dish. I'm not eating no, that, it bro. Don't. I'm not eating something that's Give me some Maybe fried. Maybe because we, there's already like. Give me a, some a fried out of pizza on the side with some garlic bread. No. That sounds like a like a type of lettuce, like a pizza <laughs> lettuce. I think it sounds like maybe an animal. That's No, that shit sounds like some fancy ass water. Alapecia. <laughs> alapecia spring water. The top of the alapecia mountain. Maybe alapecia champagne. Alapecia peak. <laughs> alapecia. <laughs> alapecia. Maybe some champagne. champagne like, alapecia and Al Nine at me. 
Yo, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'll piece it. I'll nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheat one now? Dang. Oh, shit. What else got happening this week? What else happening? I'm a little disappointed what happened this week. One of my favorite presidential candidates dropped out of the damn Democratic um, race. I was part of the Yang gang. Andrew Yang gone. Y'all know who Andrew Yang is? I was voting for him. No. I was gonna vote for him from day one. Yeah. That was the old guy who was like, I'm trying to give everybody a thousand of them. Yeah. But you know, it was deeper than just like a simple handout. Like he was saying, like, look, a thousand dollars of the money that's being wasted upon the tax dollars, we might as well give it back to the people. Exactly. I was liking who, that. Who's spending that? You and know what I mean? Smart. And a thousand dollars a month do a lot for niggas who who can't, you know what I mean, who only get even after they pay bills at the end of the month. For real. Like he was Shit, if I actually stack out. Listen. <laughs> he was different. that going to the club. Man. I like trailblazers. I think that's what the country needs. I'm, I'm tired of these old ass men, except for Obama. Old ass men becoming presidents. Like, <laughs> well, see, that's the Obama thing. Obama like, was considered. Obama was old, but he wasn't old as dirt. But Obama was different, though. You know, when you hit, when you're in a country of over 200 years and you've had only at right. 40, 44 out of 45 of the presidents are going to be white mm-hmm. men, most likely got money, most oldest, likely did old as hell. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> Obama was like a big impact that was different. Like exactly. we just need somebody different—a woman, a Asian. Right. No, that been I mean, never mind. I don't want to sound racist or anything. Say I'm what you. Just wake up, call baby. The world's most dangerous podcast. I don't think I would want. A then say Asian... it non-racist. You know how to say shit non-racist. I kind of right. don't. No, 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 non-racist. Nah, nah, non-racist. I don't want to say it. I don't think I want an Asian person running America. I don't oh, know. Oh damn, that is kind of racist. Is it because of, <laughs> is it because of the, the the China stuff or the North Korea stuff? Why? Or? Yeah, why? I it, just feel like I mean maybe I don't think that they would have like the American culture. Like you know, even Asian Americans still have very strong Asian heritage. Okay. I just I don't know. I but you don't think they will bring that you know, American? You want you so what you want as an idea president? Please not Trump. Ideal president? Please not Trump. Shoot, somebody young and black, like a young, black, very smart. But they gonna bring the, the Mark- African American culture. Okay, but African American culture is American. Asian yeah. is like Asian, uh, if that makes sense. Well, Asian. there's some Asian. Uh, yeah, you got I don't, I don't know. Like our, listen, other than the Chinese. No, this is what I'm trying to say. In what other country is there African American culture? Europe. Mm-hmm. What other country? UK, uh, 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 England. African American? How? That's African? blues music. Yeah. Um, uh, hip hop music. Mm-hmm. Um, well, just the music, and then you got acting. Yeah. You uh, got Beyond niggas. You got niggas coming. You got niggas like Idris, Idris Elba. Elba. Uh, the boy from Star- mm. John Boyega from Star Wars. You got all these people. Nick, we got American. But we got European is- niggas coming over. And- so is he African American or no, African? He's, wait, wait, wait. British, Europe, African like- American. British African. What? what is- hold on. <laughs> you made that up just hold now. On, hold on. <laughs> what is the number one global sports? <laughs> What's the number one global sports organization slash league? Football. No. <laughs> well, well, that football. No, internationally. That football. Football. Mm-mm. I think it's the NBA. You're lying like hell, bro. No, it's no, o- it's over is... universal like soccer football. Listen, yeah, you soccer tripping. ain't that big in the United States, so I said no. But the United States is not the all right. But, but it's it's, it's, all it's big in other shits. At, but the NBA is we, big we in the United States. It's big in New England. It's big, I mean New England. I'm sorry, UK. It's big in Europe. It's big in Africa. It's big everywhere. Look at the look at the NBA. Look who the um damn all star teams are. Luca. Where the hell is Luca from? Somewhere in um, Geek Freak. Geek. Hello. Um, you could just argue that America is just an immigrant melting pot country, and that's why people coming over there. But I'm saying that NBA, the NBA got big off of black stars. Jordan, Magic, Kobe, and all them. They brought their culture to other countries. So the African-American culture, they get spread around other countries. But it's a not drop of it, football, but not though. like the full. Bro, I've been to other, I've been to takeover? Europe, South America, all that shit, and every everywhere I go, they always talk about the oh, soccer just... teams, like the soccer. But we don't talk about that in the U.S. That's why I'm saying. But you said internet. You said worldwide. You but can't just say American but, shit because we're American. Everywhere you talk about basketball, though. Everybody. I thought he was talking about why though. I didn't want an Asian president. 
I was saying that you said that he would bring an Asian coach, and I said, well, what about the black boy? Because you said that's your idea. And you said, well, African-American culture is – what you say? I'm saying I don't mind bringing over a culture, but, like, to try to take over the whole country, I don't want that to be the main influence. That's just my opinion. Well, he's going to be mad American well, anyway. Well, you saying, like, he's going to, like, affect the actual American culture is what you're saying? I like, feel or... like they might. He might make decisions that's like Asian based. Because you could argue that with Obama, like since Obama was I know, president but we after need that, it though. Yeah, I know, I know it was for, well, you for argue good about reasons, Obama but I mean, like he did job. change the culture. A lot of people are super woke now, right? Because yeah. of people accepting things like a black man being the president, right? So I think I think Asian John would be t- tough. But then we got Donald Trump, and I then think, we, and then that shit completely John, flipped. Yeah, <laughs> so, I think a Spanish John be tough. I think an Asian John be tough. I don't give a See, damn. I can rock with Long a Spanish because you know they close to us, so I rock with them. The Asians close too? No, they not. Yeah, Spanish and black people, I feel like are yeah. closer than. So Spanish Asian. people are light skinned black people with accents. Well, no, for me, black they, the term they black means light-skin. culture. Right. So, like when you say things are black, like. Hispanic people do be black when they be living in the hood, listening to hip hop music, and doing a lot of things that basically black <laughs> African Americans be doing. Listen to Cypress Hill. I thought it was shit. beyond that. Like they was came from the same area. But you, you know the thing the about that is that shit gets transfer. so mixed up. Like how how you gonna really say who's black once nigga, everybody's mixed up? You know what I mean? Uh, like countries and people have been changing for so long. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like who's really black and then who's re- I mean shit. There, I, you heard about like all right. This question, our uh, what 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 try? Yeah, because intera- I started looking at him. That's why he started. Are interracial people considered black if they're white and black? Yes. Yeah. You ain't hearing that one I, drop room, nigga. Um, Obama. They ain't black. Who Obama. Like Obama. Obama's not black. If you talk to people, they'll you tell you logic black ain't black. Black president this, black president you did that. Say black now president. he not black. I, I agree. That if you have brown skin in you, and you especially if you come out brown, over 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 your over Obama pale skin. is you, if you Nick, you Nick, you black. yeah. They say interracial people are just interracial. So now now the Obama one, ain't black. Drop rule. Look, I've said about, uh, that's why I say that's why I take black out of the so picture. So you gonna I say take he's Drake African away from American. us? He has African American. Obama what you're is to do? a brother from Hawaii that went to Chicago and met Michelle E. And then became the presidency. You feel me? <laughs> so what about logic? What about logic? He is, he can say nigga. He's he cool. Mariah Carey black. Yeah. No, he his dad is black, right? Well, he likes Ken. So he Mariah wait, Carey. Wait, wait, I got a question. Mariah Carey's black? Yes. yes. She's African American. For real? Yes. Yeah, so logic's like Jason Kidd, Derry G and Mariah Carey oh, black. So she's all black or she mixed? I'm not sure about her. Like, that's what I'm... See? That's why I don't like going into this. Because so the much mixture. You the interracial is not black. They so Derrick Jeter, Jason Kidd, Mariah Carey, Elijah Black. They little light skin. That's all. Little yeah, tan, so they still, little, I still pal, think pal. They're, they're black. But I think anybody could be the president. But at, I don't care what race you are. As long as you got a good heart and you ain't crazy like Trump. Speaking of that, who y'all... Trump wants to get um, rid of um, federal student loans for giving this program. He hates us. Can he get rid of college and and just <laughs> overall debt? Period. Then Trump care about money. Too no, much. there's like a. They said <laughs> that it was a five point six billion. Five point six billion funding cut to the education funds. Education system. And this ain't the first time he said it. Honestly. This is the same man that said people they should take food stamps away, and get food boxes. Why do? You, why are you still saying like he said? He clearly lies. He lies at everything. I don't. That's why I like it. Be I be watching shit just to be like, all they right. They say Trump did say this repeatedly, though. It don't matter what he say repeatedly. So I don't I, even associate this nigga my saying life. the wall's great. The wall's this, that, and third. He's taking out funding to build the wall. He's still not. Oh done my with god, the wall. is he taking that? Is he taking that funding? Yes, it's going to the wall. It's going to the, to wall, the wall and to military, to military production. He well, better shit, not be take my student loans away for some goddamn wall. He do that. I'm letting everybody in. I'm letting cousin Pee Pee. I'm letting cousin Tito. I'm Pee-pee. letting cousin anybody in. I don't give a damn. I'll break a damn wall. Yo, yo, come on, cuz. Come on. Hey, make a, I'm letting, um, yo, this the most racist episode. <laughs> that, that, that right. I'm letting <laughs> El Chapo in. Everybody get in. I don't give a damn. No, El Chapo definitely should probably be the president. Like, he really and knows. She, 
how the hell you talking lunch. about? So you 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 went to, to honorable people. She gonna be like, you know what, El Chapo? Why they do the same, niggas? They do the same stuff. They kill people behind the. Why the hell behind? El Chapo should be the? He know how to make money, and that's what we need. The country don't need money. We need stability. We need money. a new hope. That's what okay, we need. Star Wars. You know who should be the president, like an animal or something, because. At this point, no, you know, you know, I don't honestly, think nobody else. I've been, I've been thinking about this, and, and, and y'all need to like hear a dolphin. This. Dolphins are like mad intelligent. Ain't like, no damn dolphin <laughs> gonna be the goddamn president of the United States. I they can k- fill things. They I, could probably like help direct with like global warming and stuff. Like he they sure got can. Way better since the than motherfucker us. could talk and walk. Well, we would just have to. <laughs> 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 but you know what I've really been contemplating though, like as a country, like as a whole country, what, like dolphins what we should represent, be president no, still. Like on a serious tip, That's like my dolphin noise. When, when you really think about like how much of the standard this country holds on uh, people who who are married, I always thought why why don't we just honor a, a married couple as a seat on the presidency? Because oh, I mean, like you know, hmm. like why do we just honor the male or honor the woman who won the election? So it should be you like a, I mean? a cold about- presidency. I think it should be if we're considering a, a true equality, especially a government that isn't controlled by one specific person. Or why don't they they could just have y'all two smoke presidents? Y'all some ill nah nahs. Because <laughs> I've always figured that. Co-presidents, y'all on some shit patch. But that ain't a bad idea. Not the dolphin, baby. You know what I mean? Like why? You know what I mean? Like what if what if it was you know the Obamas instead of Obama? But oh, I think, and that the vice president John. No, the vice president could be the opposite. I mean, could be, could be, you know, Biden that's, and his wife. I think just the fact that it's a married couple is a part that's kind of throwing me off. Like maybe if it was like a male president and a female president, mm-hmm. and then they had their own lives or whatever, I would probably be down with that. But let's, I don't know. Let's get to. But I like what you said about the make making whoever vice. Like, let's get the vice president and stuff like that. So we got left in the Democratic um, John is. Um, Vice President Joe Biden, Uncle Bernie Sanders, shout out to her, Uncle Bernie Sanders. Oh, give a quick story. I was riding down Ninth Street. I'm on Knife and Dolphin. And why somebody on the side of the house got a picture of Bernie Sanders like this? They can't see you, Kurt. Oh, my bad. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I was the craziest thing ever. Anyway, Elizabeth Warren. Some peep boy, everybody Pete keep talking Booty about. Booty yeah, the, the mirror. Booty boy. in the hell. No. Um, I don't Tom even know what he Savage, said. But. Tom Savvy, whatever. Stare. Um, some Tom candidate Stare. At, from Minnesota. I don't know her name. No. Nope. Amy, Amy Hell no. Oh, okay. You know the people. Them. All right, let me people say. And Mike, and Mike Bloomberg, who and don't Mike have, Bloomberg, who don't want to go to the debates. He too bougie for the debates. I don't Honestly, like his Mike last Bloomberg name. is only here as like a like a kind of like a financial support for Democrats, hey, considering like how hey, much Trump money Trump has put into. Ain't nobody got no party. damn um commercials. Only one guy in is Mike Bloomberg. Yeah, he said he actually said if I don't win primary, he said he's putting he said he will put two billion into whoever is the primary. Oh really? Yeah, oh so, shout out to him. Yeah, he So who out of that list, who y'all think be the best fit of the president? Y'all two go, then I'll give y'all miles. I ain't even going for all. I really honestly have not been keeping up on this. Like, I've never been you never really been in the political. politics? Nope. But I mean, you know, you know two you, of them. But I'm kind of just You like know Bernie and, and, like and Joe Biden. So I really don't think that none of them have our best interests, to be honest. Damn. Ain't nobody going. But out of those, who would you pick? Because you got to pick somebody. I would pick Bernie voting. Sanders. I would pick Bernie. You taking Bernie? Who you taking? Well, now that ain't Yang not in, Yang I Gang, even, I don't even know honestly. I might, I don't know. I might go with Warren honestly. Wow, I would like. Warn I said, it. I think a woman will just make some, make a. It'll refresh the country in a way. In I want of, her as the what vice. What if she's a? What if she's racist? No, nah, she ain't racist. She a G. Um, they got like at her that one time they be though. Secretly they, racist. She said she was like. She said she was like, I'm six percent Native American. They was like, <laughs> Here we go. That mean? They always try to get race. They always try to claim races. That it wasn't. That, I just said any number, <laughs> but it was still something low as shit. I want her to be the vice president. And I want Bernie Sanders to be the president. Well, that's usually what happens. I want some like, revolution ass old people to take over the world. Yeah, like they usually pick up like whoever yeah, Bernie was runner ups. They both the old. Elizabeth Warren about fucking seventy times. Her damn self. They gonna be at the damn um, <laughs> state of the unions with canes. They jeez. <laughs> but shout yeah. out to them, like I like them. If I think honestly, I don't know who might win though. Like who might win primary? I'm I think it might go to Bernie. I it, think Bernie, Bernie or, or Joe Warren. Biden. 
I didn't want to know. I think Joe. I'm gonna be real with you, and I'm about to say the ill is. I'm about to get crucified for this. Oh Lord. I think Trump gonna win again. Yeah, I think I think he is going to win the whole thing. I don't want him to win again. I do not want him to win again. He, I don't want people to think, oh, Kurt, uh, uh, brother Kurt, a damn Trump supporter. No. He's, no, he's going to win. Mm-hmm. I just think that the, Never the, that. I just think that the Democratic Party side ain't strong enough to take him down. Yeah, Demi- I don't want to speak that into the universe. So, I universe, um, right, I want Bernie Sanders. My, my universe, I want Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren to be the presidents co-presidents like Trey was saying listen the way the the way that they the way that Trump did not get removed from being impeached like he got impeached but the senate votes on if they should remove him like if it was that bad and the fact that senate said no and the senate was the reason why he won in the 2016 election and not the popular vote he's definitely winning in this in this year unless we get rid of the senators I miss can we just have a president that that acknowledge rappers again like Obama did like remember when Obama dropped the Lil Wayne verse (laughs) Y'all remember that shit? He talked no. about T-Pain and Lil Wayne at the right. same time. Speaking of Wayne, Wayne dropped the album last, what, week? That June, mm, crazy. Friday, yeah. It was Friday. I think it was Friday. Friday. It's one song on there that I don't like. What's that? I don't it's even know. It's too many damn Because I listened to it all, all the way through, so I wasn't really looking at the name. No, they're not that long, though. It's like it's it's probably like I did not listen to the hour. album. Not Because I don't like minutes. when rappers come out with 20... I don't like when rappers make 17 or more tracks. I, I could turn off instantly. It's not that bad. It's really only like 58 minutes. 58 minutes? For for a one album. All right, cool. Um, I, well, all right. Well, I'll give it another chance. That's long for you, album, Secrets. Long albums do tire the shit out of me, though. It do. Like, when you know when Chris Brown came out with that one oh, album I'm, and it was I like 30-something tracks on it? I was like, you it's know, like Chris, 40. I fuck with you. But that's too much. But listen... Is Lil Wayne top five best? We got like a couple more minutes. Let's get to this argument. Is Lil Wayne top five greatest rapper of all time? No. Yes, for me. No. Not top five. Top five greatest rappers of all time. Biggie. Pac. Jay. Nas. Matter of fact, flip that. Eminem. Is this in order? Yeah. Order is never right. Like bottom top to fives top, can't to really to be in order. I'm about to drop the last bomb. Drake, I said it. Ah, you only saying that because you watched that one joint with uh fucking uh Kevin Durant and shit. <laughs> no, and now you agree no, with that. no, no. <laughs> what other rapper you know rude besides Jay Z rude for ten straight summers? Jay. Besides Jay. <laughs> Lil Wayne didn't have. I'm pretty sure Lil Wayne had you, ten it, summers. It's a tie between Wayne and, and Weezy. Drake. Definitely had ten summers. Nikki since Hot Boy. Nikki, she, Nikki. I ain't gonna say all time. Nikki out here years. worrying about meat mills yeah. and goddamn stores. We ain't worried about no damn Nikki Minaj right First now. First of all, we should yeah. talk about that. I ain't gonna but lie, let, Nikki. Let's put that to the side. That's their business. Nikki is yeah. a dope ass rapper, but Nikki be tripping sometimes. Like she gotta chill. Right. But I think I we think do need to give her credit, her though, as, as a whole lyricist. Like, talking about me kicking her and shit in front, in front of, of his hell? mom. <laughs> Tripping. But we Tripping. should consider her for the top, though. Top five of all time? Not top five, but in the top category, maybe top 20. Y'all got, we got we two minute warning. We got, who y'all got top five? Top five rappers or yeah. top five just overall artistry? Five rappers. Trey, 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 Trey two minutes, bro. Oh, shit, like, man. are they rap? Are they? Is it like just the lyrics? Two you minutes. Care about? Yeah. Two, no, five, five, a five, rapper five is not only so just lyrics. Whole, so everything about their career. All right, then uh, J, Pac, M, ah, uh-huh. um, Yay. Can't forget Yay. Actually, I'll take Yay out. He's not in top five. Um, Biggie, Biggie's overall career wasn't I feel like long this nigga enough, does so six. no. Neither was Pac. Pac's career was longer than Biggie. Biggie only had two albums. Pac had four. We got one minute. The time span was... was Secret, hurry up. A couple seconds. I don't know. <laughs> we see y'all next week. We're going to finish this argument. Yeah. Stay tuned. Wake up, call. Most Dangerous Podcast, motherfuckers.